Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olivia and today we are doing a full bookshelf reorganization. Am I going to regret this? I don't know. In my bookshelf, I essentially organize it by genre. So each shelf is devoted to a different genre. And then I have another shelf that's my TBR shelf. I'll show you guys all that in a second. And now each of my genre shelves is overflowing. So like if I finish a new fantasy book, there's not room for it on the fantasy shelf. So I think some redecorating is in order and I'm very excited. Today is like a windy, cloudy, it's supposed to rain sort of day, Saturday. So I figured this is the perfect opportunity to do that. So yeah, we're just gonna do it. Real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the status of my bookshelves and then, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. So let's do it. Okay, so this is bookshelf number one. This is the bookshelf of all the books that I have read so far. And then down here is where I keep all of my journals from basically my whole entire life. And so as you guys can see, this is my fantasy shelf and ignore this, the Cruel Prince is over there. But if I add another book here, then there's no room for it. And if I read another romance book, there's no room for it. I think you get the idea. So here's this one, all right? And then we come over here, ignore the boxes, I'm so sorry. We come over here and we have my little TBR shelf. So this little cubby is my like main TBR. I also need to read this book down here. And then this is the dust jacket of Powerless. I've already read Dune, so that's nothing. And then I just have little knickknacks like throughout here. So I definitely have room to work with on this shelf. I think my plan is to take everything off the shelves. I either want to put like a YouTube a book video on or listen to my audiobook. I'm currently listening to Talking with Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell. It's very, very interesting if you guys haven't listened to that one yet. Um, so I'll either put that on or a little bit of booktube in the background, take everything off. And then I think I need to decide which, like where I want to put each genre because this TBR shelf, I think is also going to have to turn into somewhat of a red shelf because there's not fully room up here. So I might do a little bit of an unhaul in this video as well. So I think that's enough talking. Let's get into the taking books off the bookshelf. I'm gonna start with the TBR shelf because it's much less books and stuff on it. Now it's time to tackle the big shelf. Wish me luck. Why am I a little bit out of breath from that? <laughs> That's a bad sign. Um, okay, all the books are over here. You know what? Let me show you. So here we have all of my books and I tried to keep the genres together. I know some people really like to color coordinate their books, but I definitely prefer to keep genres all together. So I have fantasy, romance, literary fiction, nonfiction, TBR, and then literally all three of these stacks are journals, if you can believe it. Um, and then over here I have all my decor things, and I might bring in some plants from other parts of the apartment as well, um, but those are just cute things that I like to use to decorate. So yeah, now we gotta figure out the organization. You can't really see them, but I am now sitting in a sea of books and I've never been happier. I think now I wanna figure out how I wanna organize all the shelves. So before I had like one main fantasy shelf and then a fantasy shelf for all my like old books. So like Harry Potter, Percy Jackson. Actually my Percy Jackson book is in Spanish because <laughs> I thought it would help me work on my Spanish. <laughs> I think I want to do three fantasy shelves, mostly because 
I want to have an entire Sarah J Mass shelf because I am planning on finishing the Throne of Glass series this year and that's just like Akatar and Throne of Glass need like an entire shelf. So I'm thinking three fantasy shelves. I think I could maybe stick with one romance shelf for now. Yeah. I don't know why I'm talking you guys through it. I feel like I just need to go for it and see what happens. So this is the current state of the bookshelves. Number one is empty. Number two is empty. So yeah, I'm thinking the main change is books that I've read are now also going to appear on this shelf. thinking for this shelf since I don't like look at it as often slash like I don't use it as often I'm gonna put my journals down here and then some of my like childhood favorite series and then the TBR maybe for these two top shelves we're gonna have to see it's also getting hot Like one thing that I struggle with is YA. Like I don't read that much YA, but I have a ton of favorites from when I was younger. And then I like the inheritance games. Like I have no, no place for that. Like YA that isn't YA fantasy. I just never know where to put it. So might just do like a big cumulative YA shelf and hope for the best. All right, so the bookshelf is filled in now with books. I'll do a little more of an in-depth tour soon. So now that these are done and I have some books that I might get rid of at the top, um, I need to fill it in with plants and accessories, which are over here. I love like like decorating it with plants and travel things. So I've been to Paris. London, I just got back from Peru and got cute little llamas, plants. This lei is from Hawaii. Like I love just putting travel trinkets on my bookshelf. So yeah, next up is just adding in the final touches. I did it. It feels so good, honestly. I went through and I picked some books also that I don't think I'm gonna read again, or I think I will read them, but they're not on my radar anytime soon. So the combination of redoing part of my bookshelves and putting some books aside feels so good. So now I'm gonna show you guys my bookshelves. And again, sorry about all the boxes. It's been a chaotic time. So you're just gonna have to ignore this <laughs> for now. 
Um, but let me show you my little bookshelf and then I'll show you my big beautiful bookshelf. So for the little one, I did decide to keep the top shelf as my TBR shelf. So this is my fantasy TBR right here. And this is my, um, I guess my TBR that's not fantasy, pretty much everything else. And guys, this is my entire physical TBR, just these top two shelves, which feels so good. Like, I don't know what it is, but there's something about me that just feels so at peace when I don't have a million books on my shelf to read. I feel like that does make me the minority on booktube. But yeah, I just love having significantly more books that I've read and like versus books that I need to read. Anyway, tangent aside, next down here, I decided to put like YA slash just like childhood favorites. So over here, I have the entire Harry Potter series plus Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Then over here, I have the Inheritance Games, which I don't ever know where to put this book. It's like my only YA mystery style book. So I never know where to put it. So I just put it on the YA shelf. Um, I also have my Percy Jackson in Spanish copy here. And then also the selection. This was one of my favorite series as a kid. I loved that series. And then down here at the bottom, I just have all my journals. And this is my cute llama that I got in Peru. I love her. Um, and then another little decor thing over here. I don't actually have a tripod that like can get us up all the way to the top. So I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you guys the bookshelf. I'm so excited, I think it looks so good. Okay, so up here I kept it pretty much the same, just like my travel photo album and a little plant. And then down here I have my romance bookshelf. And this feels really good because it's pretty much romance books that I just really, really love a cute cactus, my Christina Lauren collection, my Emily Henry collection. And then down here I have some Colleen Hoover books and then the rest are books that I pretty much just have one from that author. And also let me know down below, do you guys think of normal people as romance or literary fiction? Because I had it in the literary fiction section before, but like I kind of also think of it as a romance, so let me know. And then this is my other cute llama that I got from Peru and I also love her. <laughs> then a big change, I moved my literary fiction shelf. It used to be like way further down. I moved it up here. So over here we have all my hardcover literary fiction and these are my paperback literary fiction. Um, and then I have a little Lego London bus and a cute cactus. And then I don't really know why I put trust over here. It just like felt more complete and balanced. I don't know, but I really like how it looked. There's honestly no particular reason that I put that book over there. Then we have my Sarah J Mass shelf and I have read all of these books. I need to go buy Queen of Shadows so I can read it. And eventually this shelf will be full. And then this beautiful little plant. Then we have another fantasy shelf. I guess it's fantasy sci-fi because Dune is down here too. Um, but I just, it feels so good because I have more like fantasy on my TBR that I'll have room to put over here when I finish. I love that. Also my little Hawaiian lei and my TBR jar are sitting here. And then down here is my nonfiction shelf. And this is shared between me and my boyfriend. We both really enjoy nonfiction. So this shelf is a collection between the two of us, as is my little classic section down here. Honestly, I don't own a ton. I've, I've read a good amount of classics, but I don't own a ton of them. And then over here, this is my little stack of unhaul books that I think I'm probably gonna get rid of. Let me know if you guys want a video of an unhaul of just like things that I'm probably not keeping. Okay, so here's the full head to toe bookshelf. I'm literally obsessed. I think it's so cute. And also please ignore our mail catch. I feel like everyone has that one place where all their crap goes. Um, but here's my TBR and the rest of my books. So cute. It's so funny. I feel like organizing and reorganizing my bookshelf has been on my to-do list for so long. Just because every time I finish a book now, I literally don't have anywhere to put it. Like when I finished Air of Fire, I had to boot something out of the fantasy section just to make room for it so I could keep that author together. So it feels so good 
to have gone through my books, gotten rid of a few, to organize my TBR shelf. It just, ah. Uh, I don't know what it is. It just feels so good. So yeah, I think that's honestly all I have prepared for you guys this week. It's been a lovely little cozy, it hasn't rained yet, but it really is supposed to, <laughs> a cozy Saturday. I clearly, I'm looking right past the camera, just staring at my bookshelf. I'm feeling really, really happy with it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the bookshelf. As always, leave your name in the comment section down below so I can get to know you better. And yeah, just tell me what you're reading, how your month is going, and I'm sure we'll all chat soon. I'll see you next Thursday. All right, you guys. Bye. <laughs>